Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to have a very exciting video. I'm going to show you how to design an abutment positioning jig, also called an implant seating jig. And I'm using the latest ExoCAD version 3.0. If you have enjoyed my content so far, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get updated on all future videos. Subscribing is like joining a very exclusive club where you never miss out on my latest video. So go ahead, click that button and become a member of my awesome community. I would also like to introduce my new Patreon channel. You can find the link in the description. Here, I'm taking my YouTube journal to the next level. A custom milled abutment could be positioned in six different orientations if you have an hexagon connection. When we have more than one abutment, the number of positions increases and making it much more difficult for the clinician to seat the abutment. When the dentist is talking in the abutment, it needs to be held in place in the correct position. Once the abutment is talked in and the dentist wants to place a crown, and the abutment is in the wrong position, the crown will not fit. So without further ado, let's get into a video how to design a custom abutment positioning jig. So welcome back to the video. Um, the first thing that we want to do is we want to export the model with the abutment on. So we design the abutment, we design the crown and it goes on top of it. We want to have the abutment isolated without any screw channel hole. Therefore, we're going to click under abutments, under abutment top. Everything else is not visible, no antagonist. Because if we go under abutments, under merged abutments, and we're going to see the screw channel here, it will cause error in the design of the positioning jig. So very simple, right click on export to mesh, and I'm going to name it model with abutment in this case. Click yes, and use original positioning of the mesh. Then. I'm not going to go too much into detail of exporting the school channel. You can watch the video. I'm going to put the link in the description and the marker here. So, so we're going to click on number 20 and we're going to select offset coping. The most important thing if you're going to go under advanced parameters are the yellow highlighted ones. Everything should be zero here. And that's important to have a good outcome for the positioning jig. Click OK, and then select number 21 by holding Control, Save, and go to Design, Import the model with the abutment. You can see there is no hole in there. Select the abutment side and the margins. Click Next, and then go to Correct and Draw and Freeform and mark a little island on the mesial of number 21 and on the distal of number 19, and that's sufficient. Go to next and you can see under borders that everything is zero and that's important for the outcome. Click next and under anatomic, click entire tools and hold shift and control and move the shape above the occlusal of the adjacent T's. And attachment add, go all the way down to attachment along spine. Here you can select a rectangle shape that should be all the way on the bottom and click on the very mesial of the little island of number 21 and move along to number 19 and click on the distal of number 19 and the shape should appear. Here you can play around with the height, you can play around with the offset, and the offset means how far it is away from the occlusal, from the actual T's. And that's it's important, and we will see later why this is. So you can click on the little red line, and you can position it into the actual shape of the arch. 
the offset function, you can bring it more up, bring it more down, I bring it a little bit more up. You can see it's intersecting a little bit. Cut to gingival here in this case and hit apply. And then the attachment operation failed. And we're going to go into why, why it failed. So we can see it didn't intersect with the T's, it didn't cut out the T's. So what we're going to do, we're going to offset. We're going to change the offset. We bring it a little bit more up. There's no intersection. And we're going to increase the height because we have our minimum thickness at one millimeter. So if we click apply now, the operation is actually done. You can see that it actually cut through the T's. So when we click on the cut view here on number 21 and measure the distance from the tooth to the shape, you can see it's more than one millimeter. If this is less than one millimeter, you will have a failed operation. Go to attachment again, subtract. We need to make the screw channel. Go to load file. And here we're going to load the screw channel, position it, allow any changes, apply, it will cut a hole. Then we can also add a little text there. In this case, going to go to text and add, in this case, jig, case number, whatever. You can position it in the, in the occlusal, in the facial. Then you hit next and done. And this is how you design an implant position in jig. And it's really easy. You can name it. It cut through the teeth. You can, pos you can position it very easily. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get updated on all future videos. I also have a new Patreon channel where you can be a Patreon member and support the channel if you like to. I hope I see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.